Hello, this is Shlomo Savion with Sterilizers.com, sitting and talking to my partner, Chuck Fischelson. How are you doing, Chuck? I'm doing fine, Shlomo. How are you? Good. Uh, we just got an email from uh, a doctor who is asking the following questions. Number one, other than cycle time, what are the cons, the negatives, to dry heat sterilization in a doctor's office? How would you respond to that? There are really no cons to dry heat other than its extensive cycle time. Uh, traditional dry heat sterilizers operate at about 320 degrees, and they'll take about an hour to do a cycle, which is a long time compared to current steam autoclaves. So that is the only negative, the time. He's also asking, would we need, no, he says we need it primarily for paper-wrapped suture trays. Could he use a dry heat for that? I don't think it's any problem. Uh, I'm assuming he means the blue paper, um, hospital grade paper that's used to wrap instruments. Yes. And paper um, burns at 451 degrees Fahrenheit, and these machines run at a maximum of uh, 320 degrees, so he shouldn't have any issues. Okay. Does it destroy Q-tips, rubber bands, or standard instrument wrapping paper, etc.? Well, we talked about paper already, so let's talk about the rubber and silicon products that you use. Okay. Um, all those products uh, have a certain amount of moisture, and dry heat sucks the moisture out of whatever it is. We've all seen a rubber, uh, a rubber band that's been dried out, and you take it in your fingers, and you crumble it up, and it drops away. Essentially, what a dry heat sterilizer does is it sterilizes, but that same uh, pattern happens again, and um, you will dry the instruments out, and they will not be... Uh, working the way they were supposed to be initially designed. The problem is we need to understand from this doctor uh, what the majority of instruments are. Are they stainless steel instruments, which are not adversely affected by um, dry heat, or are they these rubber and plastic instruments, which he's going to have to replace on a regular basis? What people need to remember is that instruments tend to cost more than sterilizers. Sterilizer is a one-time purchase. You buy instruments on a regular basis, and you should have a budget to replace them. Okay, so... He says that dry heat seems to him to be simpler and less maintenance and, and a lot, a lot cheaper. Would you agree with that? Uh, compared to a steam autoclave, absolutely. Uh, the question is what kind of instruments is he using? And as I said, if he's primarily using stainless steel instruments, uh, then the uh, dry heat sterilizer will work fine for him. If he's using instruments that are uh, made of other materials, then he's got to question the value of the instruments. Uh, how we 